Thanks, David. A grassroots campaign is popping up in Kennesaw against a resident who some say is single-handedly delaying development in the city. Peter Popham has filed a series of lawsuits against city leaders, attorneys, and developers trying to stop several multi-million dollar projects. Channel 2's Ross Cavett is live in Kennesaw to show us what's happening there. Ross? Boy, a big project's planned for the woods behind me. A lot of folks uh, have asked city leaders in Kennesaw, why don't we have a much nicer downtown like many other cities in the metro area? Well, the leaders blame one man who they claim has filed a series of frivolous lawsuits that have wasted time and money, but that man tells me He's just trying to protect his rights and those of the others who live here. There's not much to what's considered downtown Kennesaw now, but city leaders are eager to change that. It is frustrating. We're trying to get something to support the business owners here in Kennesaw. They've waited patiently, and so we're just trying to get them support and get these projects started. The city has approved a plan for a $35 million mix of businesses and townhomes on nearly a dozen downtown acres, something similar to what's in downtown Smyrna now. It would bring in lots of people and millions of dollars to downtown Kennesaw if it happens. I'm worried now as to whether or not the project's even going to happen because he's stalled it and stalled it and stalled it. He is Peter Popham, a resident, businessman, and frequent mayoral candidate and frequent lawsuit filer. He has filed suit against nearly every person involved in the project, claiming, among other things, it violates state and federal green space and environmental laws. We're not opposed to um, affordable living uh, structures or homes, but what we want to do is preserve our little, the characteristic, uh, character and culture of our little city. Popham's lawsuits have halted the projects as they wind their way through the courts. One or two individuals can really throw the wrench in the gears. Dr. Eaton is fighting back with a Stop Popham campaign, including a website, online petition urging the litigious resident to halt his actions. One thing, though, is clear. He won't. In fact, uh, I'm filing pleadings today that it's on a motion to dismiss that it's, it's over. It just won't stand the test of the law. This would have already been done if it was not legal, if I weren't in the right. Nobody has any idea when, it, when any of these projects will ever break ground as these lawsuits wind their way through court. And Peter Popham says he's certainly not finished or intimidated by the campaign against him. In fact, he plans to run for mayor this year. We're live in Kennesaw, Ross Cabot, Channel 2 Action News.